recording. Is it recording? Hey everybody, what's up? Victorian Genetics here, bringing you the Smash, well it's not Smash Brothers, I keep saying that. It's not a Smash Brothers Direct, but that is what I am always hyped for, Smash Brothers, right? Um, it's a Nintendo Direct, so I'm hyped for Nintendo stuff in general, but my mind just gets so like, Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers, Smash Brothers, Smash Brothers, the whole reason I freaking splurged on a freaking Nintendo Switch and traded in like a whole bunch of stuff. Traded in all my games I bought this year and my 3DS to get a Switch. End of story, because I'm hyped on Smash, let's do this, okay? But uh, yeah, Victorian Genex here. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to like, uh, comment, if you want to comment on anything. Discussion is like one of the key reasons I like to do this. And uh, subscribe for more videos all the time. Reactions to K-pop, reactions to gaming, reactions to trailers, reactions to all sorts of things. Okay, it's going to start any second now. Any second. Wait, let me hit live. Okay. We're almost in this. We're almost in this, guys. Okay. It's about to go down. It's about to go down so hard. I'm going to cry. Not cry. But, you know, close enough. Okay, my media's turned down, my stream chat is up. Connecting to chat. <laughs> Hopefully my phone connects to chat. Phone? Phone, hello. Okay, my phone doesn't want to connect to chat. Okay, welcome to the chat room. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and do hi. Testing for phone chat room. Okay, it's all good. Phone chat room. Cool. That's good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Shh. Oh my god. Well, I don't have to shush anybody because I'm the only one in the room. <laughs> the concept still stands. Okay. It feels a little loud to me. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Whoa, what happened? Wait. Do I have to refresh the page right now? Oh my god, please. Okay. Okay. I refresh the page. Okay, what are we watching right now? What are we- Oh, it's the Luigi's Mansion on 3DS. They're supposed to be remaking the original Luigi's Mansion on 3DS, I think, is what it was. Right? I don't own a 3DS anymore, as I just said earlier. Traded it in for uh, not Smash Brothers Switch. Oh, it's Luigi's Mansion 3. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I was like, I've played the original so many times, I don't need that. Hello, everyone. I'm Although I'd still buy it and I'll be your if it was on Switch. Nintendo Direct. Yeah, Nintendo Direct. As you just saw, please be Smash off with a new reveal. And I'm pleased to confirm that Luigi's next spooky adventure is in development. Luigi's Match at 3! Hype, hype, hype. We have a lot to say about the game, but we'll have to save that for another time. I knew it. That's obvious. Now, let's cover some upcoming games for Nintendo 3DS. Please take a look. The dead console. Well, not the dead console, but the dead console. Oh, shit. Why are they doing more? Epic yarn is warping to Nintendo I don't really like the Nintendo games with the crafts and arts perspective. It's okay enough, but like, I prefer Kirby as Kirby and Yoshi as Yoshi. Paper Mario is a different story, but even that franchise, they kind of fricked up, so. Every stage from the Wii version is making a return. Oh, it's just a flat-out remaster. The okay. The version is also being puffed up with some new features. When you pick up items, Kirby's cute as fuck, bigger though. yarn balls, or you can even conjure up some wind to rake in the beans. For a little added challenge, see if you can outrun this speed demon of a devil in devilish mode. <laughs> to top it off, new mini games will give you a chance to play as some other familiar faces. Kirby's extra epic yarn extra epic for Nintendo it's 3DS extra epic for just all the right amounts of epic Bowser jr destined for greatness what the fuck is this the mushroom kingdom has a bad case of the blorbs and the only ones who can save it are Mario Luigi and Bowser 
It can only be Mario and Luigi Bowser's uh -oh. side story. There's another side to every story. Even this one. Now you can go on Bowser Jr.'s journey Wait. as well. In his new adventure, okay, Bowser Jr. sets weird. off to find his own remedy for the Blorps. But thanks to his signature selfishness, he ends up causing that's a little more problems weird. than cures. Better gather some allies and build up your very own army. Create your own formations, support allies with an arsenal of moves. And okay, my volume levels are good now. They're Gucci. Is You're gonna Bowser hear a little Jr. bit of a double up, sorry. His kingship like his papa? Like his papa? Mario and Luigi, Bowser's inside story plus Bowser Jr.'s journey releases on Nintendo 3DS January 11th. I mean, that's kind of cool. I don't hunt ghosts with Luigi and a second player. What? While you're waiting for the a new second game on player? Nintendo Switch, don't forget that the original Luigi's Mansion is coming to Nintendo 3DS. That comedically spooky vibe that fans remember is intact, even when you're playing the new two-player mode making its debut in the Nintendo 3DS version. If you and another player each own the game, one of you can play as this even greener guy as you explore the mansion together. What the hell? Okay. That's kind of cool. If only one of you has the game, you can still play boss battles together in the gallery using download play on your Nintendo 3DS. That's series. still pretty cool to oh, kind of yeah. give to us. In Professor Egad's lab, you can tap select amiibo figures to surprising results, like revealing hidden booze or healing Luigi when he talks to Toad. Each of the four compatible amiibo has a different effect. Luigi's Mansion will haunt Nintendo 3DS on October 12th. Oh, just that's in pretty time soon. For Halloween. I don't have 3DS anymore though. Cause... Yo-Kai Watch Blasters is out now, with even more free content coming later. What is this? Whether your allegiance is with the Red Cat Corps or the White Dog Squad, Yo-Kai Watch Blasters will let you team up with friends to tackle the most action-packed battles in the series yet. Soon after launch, you'll have another way to squad up. You won't want to miss the free squad up on September 27th. Squad up. I feel like you have to have a freaking action pose screen. when you say that. This additional content boasts new bonuses for linking safety. I need switch Red news. And white dog squad, as well as new missions, new areas to explore, new yokai to befriend, and new big boss yokai. Captain why, Thunder. Ask? You know why. And if you don't, now is the perfect time to become Captain a fan. Captain Thunder. Is out now. And don't forget about the Moon Rabbit Crew update. <laughs> oh That's shit, excuse me. See, dying console. Because why would they care? Switch is their mobile now. Well, from here, let's focus on Nintendo Switch titles. Nintendo Switch titles! The Switch click noise is so good. Version point four. Well, version four. Version. So there's a period there just to signify that it's shortened. Why are they making this look anime as fuck right now? Come on. <laughs> I mean, even the music kind of sounds anime as hell right now. Can you see my hands right now? You can see them if they're like this, obviously, but if they're like this... I have to sit in a very weird position that's on a hard, sur really hard surface. Just to... Why is the quality so crappy right now? Don't like throw my quality down to being nothing. That's stupid. Okay, I think we understand that it's Splatoon 2. Let's talk about what's coming to Splatoon 2. More teals, 
details at Squid Research Lab. Oh, okay, that's really all that Everyone's you're gonna. Favorite blue robot makes his Ooh, we know about the in Mega, Mega Man Man's. Marking the 30th anniversary of the iconic series, this brand new game is gunning for greatness. On this game looks like it's gonna be good. Jump, slide and shoot through each of the colorful, challenging stages. It looks like take down super a classic and super like primo. In timeless fashion, you must defeat the eight robot masters and get each of their special weapons. The technological miracle of the new double gear system makes for a fresh take on the series' satisfying platforming action. Move so fast that time slows down around you. Temporarily enhance your weapons and show them who the real boss is when you need double to Double gear. Most. Mega Man 11 also supports the Mega oh, Man I forgot Amiibo about the Amiibos figures. that come with it. You can tap one each day or the Amiibo that comes with that one. I have the other Mega Man Amiibo. Items. Mega Man 11 will be ready Super to Smash October Brothers. 2nd. Mario Tennis hmm. Aces, further refined in new update. There's an update for Mario Some Tennis which I still don't have. Joining it. the roster, the adorable all-around ace, Birdo. Birdo. The sharp shooting specialist, Shy Guy. The proud high flyer, Koopa Paratroopa. Koopa Paratroopa. And the big boss with no racket, PD Piranha. Boss with no racket, PD Piranha. Wait, did it just repeat These itself? Kingdom greats can be Why did it just repeat online? itself? <laughs> Lol. We'll keep adding more until next June. Oh wait, I'm not live anymore. Complete the objective while these missions are active, and you'll receive special outfits, characters with alternate color schemes. That's cool. We'll continue serving up new content for the game in the future. Now I wish I had the game right now so that I could actually get this stuff while it's available. These arcade classics are back in action. Back in action. Oh yeah, they need to detail the uh, what's it called? Classic beat 'em up action games. And guess what? The Nintendo the Switch Online, I guess, is all I call Final it. The King of Dragons. Captain These games Commando. look pretty cool. Knights of the Round. And Warriors of Fate are I haven't played a whole lot of these games. I played like two of them. First time home console releases, Armored Warriors and Battle Circuit are joining the fight for a total of seven games. If you each have a Joy-Con controller, up to four players can beat them up together. That's cool. Aspiring Bash Buddies can even take the fight online this time. Even sweeter. Soon, you'll be able to play with other Capcom fans from around the world. Because Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle will be ready for action on Nintendo eShop September 8th. The exact day that their online service launches. New Super Mario Bros. U is getting the deluxe treatment. Which means it's time to take down Bowser and his Koopaling invasion in the tried and true side scroller headed to Nintendo Switch. Okay, they're doing a lot of remastering Luigi for Switch. And Toad are all here, and if that's not enough, Nabbit and Toadette are joining in the fun as well. Okay. Nabbit doesn't take damage from enemies, which can really come in handy. What? And if Toadette powers up with a super crown, ta da! She transforms into Peachette. Peachette can double jump float slowly during free fall and get a boost back up if she falls into a pit. Luigi's first starring role in a platforming adventure, New Super Luigi U, is getting the deluxe treatment too and comes free of charge. Okay. A single Joy-Con controller is all a player needs and up to four players can join in together anytime, anywhere. Sweet. New Super Mario I mean, I played that a lot. Deluxe comes down the pipe January 11th. Nabbit not Switch taking damage from enemies is kind of weird. Sounds a little much. Oh, it's Katamari. Or is that what it's called? It can only be Katamari Damacy, remastered in HD. That naughty king of all cosmos has I've made I've never a played these games like ever. And now you better take control of the ever. prince here. They roll. look kind of interesting, Just but I don't roll. know. All over the place, and all over stuff, until the gradually growing mass towers over buildings. The clump, or Katamari you roll, will shine on as a beautiful star in the sky. On Nintendo Switch, you can enjoy the game's new gyro controls, okay. HD rumble, and even multiplayer battles by each using a Joy-Con controller. 
Roll it till Okey you reach dokey. the stars anytime, anywhere. Katamari Damacy Reroll will launch winter 2018. Reroll. Next, we have some more news for you. We've announced some details about Nintendo's new service called Nintendo Switch Online, okay. including the launch date. You won't have to wait long. <laughs> I don't think anybody is waiting for it to come out. Like, I don't think anybody's really that happy about it. What's offered with your Nintendo Switch Online membership. So please take a look. But, you know, it's cool. More games, more features, more fun. Nintendo Switch Online. Allow us to introduce five features included with your membership. That, that question mark block turned into a question mark block. <laughs> Lol, question mark block. Of course, you can play compatible games together online, even when you're far apart. Which that's something we could do for free, so you're kind of... players the world over. It's arguably a downgrade at this moment. Or team up for some great co-op action. Downgrade. There are so many ways to have fun. A variety of games. Don't show support. Smash Brothers. It's not out yet. That doesn't count. Take them unless you unlaunch a demo. Thinking emoji. Thinking emoji. You can even play classic NES games anytime, anywhere on Nintendo Switch. Get lost in the gameplay. Aww. The boss or the little monster. For multiplayer games, each player can grab a Joy-Con controller. So both of you can share in the fun. I mean, that's kind of cool. NES which they've been talking can about be that, but online. As they say, playing together long distance makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> I don't think that's quite the saying, but a growing library of NES games. Save data cloud. Which apparently plenty of games aren't even able Luigi to use the cloud. No matter how careful you try to be, something unexpected can happen. Accidents can cause your precious save data to disappear. But help is on the way. With Nintendo Switch Online, game save data is automatically backed up in the cloud. Even if your console breaks, your save data. I heard it was only for specific games, though. Their freaking smartphone app is so like okay. Also connects with the smartphone app. With this app, you can voice chat with friends while playing certain games. Like, why doesn't the Switch just have the ability to use players can headsets also join and stuff? In the conversation. That way, everyone's having fun. You could do that with just normal voice chat stuff. Like, why would I use their phone when I their phone app when I could just use Discord? You know. Even has the ability to enhance certain games by connecting with. I use the app for the Splatoon stuff, but I don't really use it for chat or anything. Special offers. What are they? We'll have more to announce in the future. Ooh. They love they love dropping that phrase, man. More to announce in the future. Nintendo Switch Online. More to announce the in the future. Think about which plan is right for you. If your family has two or more. Oh, you could just pay for one month for four dollars. You don't have to flat out drop the twenty dollars every freaking. Look. Which is okay. Like that's still. This Nintendo Entertainment System style controller works with NES games on Nintendo Switch. This cool. one here is the left NES controller. And this is the right NES controller. Cool. We created them so you can play NES games like the ones you saw in the video, just like old school gamers did. Nostalgia Cash Grab! Nintendo Switch Online. I mean, that's cool. No, it is cool. But. And you can charge them by simply attaching them to the console. We hope you'll enjoy using these controllers to play this for 60 bucks. I don't think I don't think I want to be ordering that. For more details, I'd rather just go buy another freaking set of Joy-Cons or something. Question mark? Let's get back to some more Nintendo Switch games. Yes, more Nintendo Switch games. Let's do it. You talked about the online. Let's go, which it was everything we expected it to be. Your partner Pokémon is amazing. Okay. 
We know we know this. Get ready to set off on a Kanto region adventure with your very own partner, Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Today, oh, they have the classic Team Rocket that in it. That's cool. Enjoy in the upcoming game. I didn't see During that earlier. Your adventure, you'll occasionally Actually, I think I might have saw them. Obstacles in. blocking your path. When you do, you can rely on a secret technique to get past them. Whoa! Secret techniques are special skills that only your partner Pikachu or Eevee can use in the wild. Use them to chop down trees that stand in your way. Whoa! Travel across water. <laughs> that looks cool, cute as sky. shit, dude. Okay, that's cool. Furthermore, only your partner Pikachu or Eevee can learn certain powerful moves for use in battle. Plus, if you pet your partner while your Nintendo Switch is in handheld mode, you can change your partner's hairstyle. What? Depending on how you use the touchscreen to pet it. Pokemon what? Pikachu and Pokemon That's Let's cool. Go That's cute, dude. November 16th, alongside the Pokeball Plus accessory. Also, I'm still not sure if I'm getting those though. I have so much stuff. I'm getting the collector's edition of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm getting like a super mega collector's edition of uh, Darksiders 3. Then I have all this Smash Brothers stuff and then Persona Dancing All Night games. And the gates to the burning hells will open on Nintendo Switch. Of course, we're talking about Diablo I want to get that too. I think it launches in November. Inside and outside the game world. From the high heavens to the burning hells. Because Diablo's cool as hell, and if you could have it on the go, sanctuary. that's even cooler. From bounties and rifts to randomized dungeons with even greater spoils. And it's, it's gonna have everything that they've already updated the game with. Crusader, so. Necromancer, Witch Doctor, Monk, or Wizard. With up to three friends online. Did they mention the new class that came out? I think it was Necromancer, right? Is the new one that just came out? Style. Ooh, single you console. Suit up in this Nintendo Switch exclusive transmog armor fit for the Lol. King of Evil, Ganondorf. Ganondorf. All amiibo figures are compatible, allowing you to summon a group of challenging enemies overflowing with okay. sparkling Okay, cool. I have a bunch of amiibos. Diablo 3 Eternal Crunch November 2nd, that's pretty Nintendo close. Switch on November 2nd. But again, I have so much other stuff coming out, and I already own the game on PC, so it's a little hard to completely justify buying it again. The Mario Party series with new types of gameplay on Nintendo Switch. Shake the Joy-Con controller and get your body grooving in soundstage. Or dive ah. into the series' first four-player co-op mode, River Survival. <laughs> Bet you've never played anything like Toad's Rec Room, which cleverly connects two systems. Of course, the four-player board game mode that fans love is back and full of new features. Yes, it's back! By rolling character-specific dice blocks with alternate numberings, you can make a game-changing comeback. You got a star! Every last minigame is brand new, all 80 of them. For a party of one, check out the new single-player modes. Oh. You play through a series of minigames to complete specific tasks on Challenge Road. Compete against players around the world in the online Mario-thon minigame mode. Okay, that's more. cool. Online for Mario Party, A+, plus. agree. When Super Mario Party launches October 5th. That is like literally a, like, what, two weeks away? Jeez. A new story in a village with a secret to hide. That picture looks Game cool. Presents a brand new RPG. Town. The story is set in a small village. Under the protection of a great castle, the settlement enjoyed lasting peace. That is, until the sudden appearance of monsters. Indeed, the entire story takes place in this one single village. Take up arms against invading monsters and strategically select from a variety of battle commands. When the situation calls for it, Enlist the aid of fellow villagers to surmount powerful threats. What secret does the village harbor? Find out when Town releases in 2019. Working title. When your title's a working Develop title, it's a little city, too soon to announce, I feel like. Fire. I mean, even though it is only a year away, it's like, the that looks cool as heck, I just, we don't get much info on it, so it's like... Coming to Nintendo Switch. Which means, there's a city in need of a new mayor. You! <laughs> And you've got some real moving and shaking to do if you want to improve quality of life, energize businesses, and stimulate growth. Whether you're investing in roads and power Stimulate lines, the growth factors! How the city develops is totally up to you. You're kind of a big deal. But in this game... Are we a big deal though? Are we really? You can watch over every single citizen's movements. 
Give me Smash News. What's more, both previously released downloadable content packs after Dark and Snowfall are included in the Nintendo they, Switch version. That's pretty sick. Flex your mayoral might at home or on the go when City Skylines launches today on Nintendo eShop. I don't care that much. <laughs> Tale of Belief, Blood and Steel. The oh, it's the Daemon X Machi now that now, they showed a little bit of. The world of. and its inhabitants are on the brink of extinction in Daemon X Machina. As a mercenary, you'll pilot a powered suit called an Arsenal, face down runaway AI. Anime! Combat, Anime! Parts, which you can equip on the fly. If you haul acquired weapons back to the base, they're added to your personal armory for use in future missions. Each arsenal can be equipped with multiple weapons. By changing between this game looks pretty cool. And melee attacks, you can adapt your weapon I like to the it. situation at hand and gain the advantage for your side of the war. At any time during battle, you can exit your arsenal to explore the field on foot. You can make enhancements to strengthen your human form. It looks cool, I like it. Will be augmented as well. Up to four players can join forces in online Ooh, multiplayer. Down massive bosses. That's fucking cool. That's hella dope. Damon X Machina launches in 2019. 2019. Marvelous. Aren't those the Harvest Moon people? Big adventure in a miniature world of this is the Yoshi game, right? That they, yeah. In a world made of stuff like boxes and paper cups, Yoshi will leap up high. Like I said earlier, not the too big of a fan. Like it was cute at first, but then it got to the point where it's just like kind of like, can we get normal looking stuff now? It's cute. You could turn the stage on its head. I, it just doesn't super incline me to want to play it because it looks like that because it's artsy and stuff. Nook and cranny to track down hidden collectibles and make I don't know. Gold. I'm assuming most people like them. It's just for me personally. I'm just kind of like I like standard Yoshi standard Mario standard Kirby a little bit more. Really can show you a whole different side of the world. The flip side. Know any would be Yoshis? Then pass a Joy Con controller to a friend. That's pretty cool though. Like, it looks fun. Like, I'll probably buy it at some point. Just because it looks pretty dang fun. Yoshi's Crafted World releases in Spring 2019. Tabletop gaming is a perfect fit for Nintendo Switch. And to prove it, Asmidi Digital. A leader in card and board games is bringing full adaptations of best-selling tabletop games to the system. Build a medieval world in a full adaptation of the award-winning Carcassonne, complete with 3D maps, solo mode, four-player local multiplayer, that looks and the game's cool. famous expansions available as paid DLC. Whether you play alone or alongside a second player, forge a powerful deck and a fellowship of three to face the forces of Sauron in each story-driven quest of the Lord of the Rings, the living card game. Stop the spread of four weird. diseases and cure them all on your own. I mean, it looks fun because it's a card game and I'm really big on card games. Plus, but it's individually priced DLC based on popular expansions. Thanks to Asmodee, this is just the beginning for tabletop gaming on Nintendo Switch. In addition tabletop to titles, gaming on Switch! We can also confirm that even more is on the way, including one of the most popular board games ever, Catan. Catan. And a dungeon crawler based on Steve Jackson's iconic card game, Munch. Excuse me. Stay tuned. Unfortunate. All great creations, even nations, begin with a spark. Let's go. What is this? What is this? What is this? I'm not sure what I'm watching right now. Okay. Ship sank, and that key got electrocuted. Oh, civilization, that's right. We saw this, uh, this news. Civ 6, I think it was, right? Yeah, Civ 6. Which we already saw an announcement for this. 
like we saw a few of these announcements like after this switch or this uh direct got canceled because of the earthquake and stuff and a few of those announcements still went through on whatever websites they're like oh we got stories for you and stuff so depends on how they interface that how the ui and stuff works on it don't get too cocky star fox playtime is over in starlink it's this over. This adventure will push you and Fox McCloud to your limits. Let's be honest here. You guys need all the help you can get. Peppy, Falco, and Slippy yeah. will provide much needed backup in the new Nintendo Switch exclusive missions found only in Starlink Battle for Atlas. Sweet. Star Fox is cool. Form up on me. Falco here. I got you covered. It's time to lock on, do a barrel roll, and save the Atlas star system. No matter who threatens to stop This game looks pretty cool overall. It's a wolf. Oh. <laughs> Never thought I'd miss the food on Conaria. Mix and match. <laughs> that was a cool little like tease. Starlink Battle for Atlas takes like, wolf October 16th. Is in these missions. Dun dun dun. Two more great RPGs the world ends with you remix gotta buy that like asap dude that, that is like one of the best games you day. will ever play map of Shibuya. buy it Shibuya on really switch buy it on your mobile phone or face erasure buy the it on well. your ds so the Reaper, buy it on some the world ends with you final remix launches october 12th i don't remember that person unless Before that then, was just like a different look for them legendary warriors i have not played this game i'm not sure if it's awesome a hero down a but it looks anime so i'm gonna assume it's pretty cool chronicles 2 game defend yourself from malos and his forces using i'm playing dragon quest 11 right now that system. game is dope you to fight comes out on switch at some point and their They're working on drivers. the Switch version. Newcomers will have the perfect place to start when Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna, the Golden Country, launches September 21st. The Golden Owners Country. The Xenoblade Chronicles 2 expansion pass can download this new content tomorrow. That's a week early. Whoa! No way! On Nintendo Switch and even more in store for the future. Whoa! Join more than 38 million players for free-to-play co-op space ninja action. Available November 20. Launches November 20. Is it gonna be crossplay? Get down to Camila Cabello. Bruno Mars, Cardi B, and more anytime, anywhere in Just Dance 2019 on October Anywhere. <laughs> like, you're going to be, like, on break at work, and you're going to be like, let me just play Just Dance in the break room. It's cool. Just Dance in the break room. Team Sonic Racing. In Team Sonic Racing, launching this winter. The highest rated basketball simulation franchise is back. NBA 2K19 is available now on Nintendo Switch. And get ready to jam in the sequel to the smash hit NBA arcade game, NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. Come available this fall. fall. We're already in fall, though. Play as the dun, Joker, dun, dun. Harley, Lex Luthor, <laughs> and the rest of the best of the worst in the all new <laughs> Best of the Worst. On October it's a funny 16th. way to say it. Final Fantasy comes to Nintendo Switch. Cool. Oh, it's the Crystal Chronicles, right? Which is cool as hell. This game was fun, especially on multiplayer, but like the whole happen to have four link cables and four debut, Game Boy Advances made it so annoying RPG, to freaking do. I had friends Crystal to do it with Chronicles at the time and my brothers, but Switch. it was just like such a headache, dude. With the new online multiplayer mode, you and your friends can connect an adventure together. No link cable required. I really liked the gameplay overall, that, the whole carrying the chalice around, having to stay in the chalice zone, and the music, oh my god, the music the just unknown. sends me back to nostalgia like crazy. Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition will launch in 2019. Way before that, players can experience the entire world and story of the latest entry in the core series. That's right. Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition HD launches later today on Nintendo eShop. Oh, I could buy it on the eShop. Oh my gosh. A leveled up version of World of Final Fantasy. Oh, World of Final Fantasy. Online. I was like, this looks cute as fuck. This title fuck. includes a new feature called Avatar Change, which allows you to transform into I haven't played that one very much. It's, it's coming to Switch though. History. So now I'll play it. If you come to Switch with your game, I am more inclined to play it than ever, man. World of Final Fantasy Maxima when it releases November 6th. So probably won't play it till next year. 
<gasps> More Chocobo's Dungeon is on the way. 2007's Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo's Dungeon returns in superior fashion. Now, you can befriend all the monsters. Also, this looks cool as hell. Joy-Con controllers, you can play cooperatively as well. Yeah! Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon, everybody launches this, this winter. winter. Everybody, that's a cute name. Final Fantasy 12 is coming yes! to the Nintendo system for the yes! first time. Its Woo! system is a standout in the series, offering the ultimate in both freedom. I mean, I played through that game eons ago, but I haven't played through Zodiac Age yet. I've been wanting to replay it on the remaster, obviously, and I've been waiting to buy it until I had a free time. But now that it's coming to Switch at some point, hell yeah! Final Fantasy 12, the Zodiac Age launches in 20 RPGs on the go is where it's at. Which reminds me. Later on, you'll also be able to enjoy these other classics. Cool. Iconic scenes, anytime, anywhere. Final Fantasy 7, 9, and 10, 10 HD remaster are coming to Nintendo Switch. Woo! Woo! Party! Final Fantasy party! Party! Switch is getting all the stuff! Oh wait, no, this is about a bundle. Never mind. If you love this I mean, it's still like, yeah! Check this thing out. It's like the controller with the steel base. Oh wait. I just bought a Switch. Dang it. It's whatever. It's not that big of a deal. It would have been cool to have that, though. Doc features spiders from the original Super Smash Brothers game. And of course, the set also includes a download code for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's no better way to show your love for the game. Except by buying the game and playing it a whole bunch. Like, I don't the like the concept of something you'll want to you have to show your love by having physical merchandise. Okay, that's basic. sport a new design as well. This Super Smash Bros. Ultimate bundle for Nintendo Switch will launch November 2nd. You can pre-order the special bundle later today. November 2nd is also the day you can get your own GameCube controller adapter in GameCube Controller Super Smash Bros. So they're launching that stuff all ahead of Smash Bros. That's all the headlines for Nintendo Switch. Wait. Still going well? Thank you all for watching. We have a bit more to show you. So... Please stick around until the very end. Give me some Smash Brothers or I'm gonna cry. Wait, is this Animal Crossing's on Switch? Or maybe it's Isabelle and Smash. That would be cool. Okay. Not actual gameplay footage. That's the little moniker they use for Smash Brothers. You should take a break. Wait. Is this Isabelle and Smash Brothers? Or is this a new Animal Crossing? Either way, it's hype! What is going on? Oh my gosh. Is she, Isabelle playable in Smash? Is Isabelle playable in Smash? Oh my god, please. Please. Just get an invitation for Smash. Come on. Isabel and Smash. Isabel and Smash. Come on. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what this is at this point in time. Yes! Yeah, she's a echo of a uh, villager. <laughs> yes! Wait, I think. Yeah. She looks kind of like, yeah, she's kind of her own deal in a way. This is cool as fuck. Isabelle in Smash Brothers. She's cute. She's cute as fuck, bro. That's what people wanted to see. That's cool as fuck. Is that everything? What am I watching right now? What's going on?
I swear to God, if they put Nook in this game too. But I kind of doubt that right now. What is going on? Wait, I've got other business to attend to. Another Animal Crossings? When they're ready. Yeah, a new Animal Crossings on the freaking Nintendo Switch. A new Animal Crossings on the Nintendo Switch. Let's go. That's a tease at a new Anna. Yes. Yes. Fucking yes. Thank you. Is that everything? Damn it. Damn it. I mean, Isabel's cool as fuck, but I was hoping for, for like, one of the really, really high, high up there wanted characters. Like, any of them at this point. Because, like, they're all so hype and everybody superly wants them. Like, so you feel the hype from other people. Like, dang it. Oh, well, I mean, it's still cool. And finally, Animal Crossing's an official Animal Crossing's, hopefully. Because, like, we got the freaking Amiibo thing on Wii U, and then we got the camping thing, and then we still haven't gotten something official. But anyway, uh, that's all. Unfortunately, it's over now. Thank you all for watching. This has been Victorian Genetics. I will catch you all next time. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um... Yeah, peace out everybody. And I will I'll be back at a later point in time.